Hello everybody and welcome to another money making guide. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made 1100k or 1.1 mil an hour of looting from a chest. Uh, what you're going to need for this method is 49 agility to get into the Anil agility dungeon and uh, 5 to 10 mil starting cash although you can do it with less, just less efficient to do it that way. Alright, let's get started. Alright guys, so what we're going to be doing today is opening up Sinister Chests. Uh, for that, obviously you need the Sinister Key. Now, I bought some on the Grand Exchange. We have 351 that we bought. In. Uh, they took about a day for these to come through. Now, we bought, bought the bulk of them at 29k, which you should still be able to see a offer history here. Yeah, so we bought 173, well, not actually the bulk, but half of them at 29k. The other half, unfortunately, isn't on here, but we bought them at 28200. So about 800 GP cheaper. In total, we spent about 10 mil on the keys, 10 mil and 36k. And uh, what we're going to be doing, obviously, is opening a sinister chest. Where that is, is just north of Yanil. And uh, what the sinister chest gives is noted herbs, and it gives the same thing every time. Looks like per key, I might be getting between 3 and 4k in profit off the herbs, and uh, they're noted. So you can bring about 20 keys, open them up and then go back and bank them and repeat. Honestly, doing these 350 keys really shouldn't take that long. Now, there's a couple different ways to get here. Uh, the most efficient by far would be going to the Watchtower Teleport. Unfortunately, I don't have that unlocked, but if you do, just use the Watchtower Teleport. 100% is going to be the closest way. Uh, next, you could use the Fairy Ring Teleport, but uh, between running between the ring and here, I'm kind of just leaning towards running back and forth between the bank. Simple. Uh, no requirements except for having this agility shortcut unlocked, which I think is level 20 agility or something like that. It's not very high. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Just gonna run to there, run back. Uh, for items you're gonna need, you're gonna want a knife because there's a cobweb to cut. Uh, stamina potion, gonna run back and forth. You will need a super anti poison because there are the creatures in there poison you somehow. I'm wearing full graceful, and uh, we won't need that German staff anymore. And I won't really need the glory, but we'll keep it anyway. And as far as how many keys you're going to bring, I'm going to bring 20. Because uh, you will need some slots for the um, items to fill into. I mean, you could drop them, but that's a bit of a pain. And uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and meet you in Yanil. Alright guys, so we're in Yanil. Uh, so we're at the bank uh, right here. So we'll show you the way I'm going to do it. Of course, like I said, use the Watchtower Teleport if you have it unlocked. Otherwise, you can use just the running method. It's pretty easy. Just run up here and go up to the Agility Shortcut, which should just be here up to the north. And just hop under the wall. From here, they'll put us pretty much just a little bit south of the entrance. Uh, you're just going to need to slash the cobwebs. Bam. Now, the monsters in here will attack you unless you are 90 combat or above, I believe. Um, but anyway, it's pretty close. All you're going to need is a few agility levels. I believe this shortcut is... You're going to need at least 50 agility. All right, from here, you're just going to go through the uh, tunnel here, obstacle pipe, and that is it. That is where the room with the uh, signature chest is. Unfortunately, these skeletons are going to attack me, and uh, they do do a reasonable amount of damage uh, because I'm only wearing the graceful equipment. But uh, there is a decent delay on using the keys, so it's like a three or four second delay. Uh, but you can see, there we go. Just pops into your inventory noted. Once you get poisoned, make sure to drink a super anti-poison. Uh, or else um, you will just continue to get poisoned and it'll be no fun. Just continue to use the keys, guys. You'll get the same loot every single time. Uh, I'll time doing a run in a second here just to see exactly how much profit per hour you could expect to get once you've acquired the keys. I do understand getting the keys can be a bit of a lengthy process, but uh, once you do have them, it looks like we're um, geared to make at least a mil in profit. Alright guys, so we'll come back uh, once we've done this run and then we'll do the rest of them and see how long it's going to take. All right, so we're just finishing up the run. Uh, probably only took three or four minutes in total. We'll time it again more accurately after. You might want to consider bringing a little bit of food if you're like me and almost died from this. And but anyway, just hop back through the pipe, uh, run over the obstacle course, and make sure just to uh, pay attention to if you've got poisoned or not, because that can kill you pretty quickly. And right back over, and then we're just gonna run out. Now again, the watchtower teleport will be much quicker, but this is all I have, so uh, don't judge me too hard. And down under the agility shortcut. And back to the bank. So what we're going to do is withdraw 20 sinister keys and see 
how much profit we're going to get per run. I'd say maybe close to 100k. Uh, so mainly you're getting the profit from the Renars, uh, but of course the other stuff adds up as well. So we'll draw another 20 keys, and we'll just do a quick price check for you. So the Sinister Keys, we spent about 29k on each. Uh, the OSBuddy is saying 580. Um, and then if we put in all the herbs, uh, it's roughly going to be uh, 660. So that is a, well, 80k profit per run, considering that only took us probably three or four minutes. We'll say five, generously. We'll do a timer after. But, um, so 80k times five. I'm doing some weird math here, but anyway, looks like it'll be roughly uh, a million profit. Now, I'm pretty sure it was quicker than uh, five minutes, so we'll go ahead, finish up these for you, and see how long it takes, and get you an accurate estimate. All right, so we're just about to finish up the rest of our keys. Uh, now, I did time to run. It looks like it took about three and a half minutes if I was focusing. Uh, so to do all of these keys took just over an hour, um, because three and a half minutes boils down to about... 342 keys an hour uh, if you're kind of focusing uh, you could cut that down quite a bit more if you use the uh, watchtower teleport but uh, yeah so we had 351 keys or something like that so it took a, a little bit more than an hour but um, if you're focusing you could probably get it down to about an hour and uh, yeah we're just about to finish up the last two keys here and then we'll head back to the grand exchange and see how much it is actually worth and uh, last key oh my god let me use the key sometimes you'll click on the skeletons uh, on top of this, I actually did get some uh, melee experience. <laughs> Not a whole lot, but some. And there we go. That was the last key. Now we'll teleport back to Edgeville. Get the fuck out of here. And, uh, well, let's do a little price check here. So again, uh, we'll bring our notepad into screen here just so you can see. Um, we bought 178 of them at 28.2k uh, and... Sorry, 173 at uh, 29k. So 10 mil and 36k in total. If we price check everything here, looks like it's about 11.5 mil, roughly, uh, which is 1.5 mil in profit. All right, so we're back to the Grand Exchange. Uh, we're just gonna instantly sell stuff just because it doesn't really take, or it doesn't really change the price a whole lot. Um, well, we'll check the prices of Renards just in case there's actually a margin on them. Renard, Grand Renard. It's only like 2030 GP, I'm not gonna bother. But uh, 6993. Into. Yeah. I don't think any of these are gonna be a huge deal. Oh, wait. It was a little, one more below that. And if the price of Renards is higher too, you'll also get a better profit, of course. And we'll just dump the rest of the stuff in here and see what we end up with. Quorum's going in there. Again, you probably could get another 20, 30k in profit just by not dumping these, but I'm kind of lazy. And Earth Leaves do not seem to be selling. Drop these down a little bit more. Okay, even more. Damn, Earth Leaves. Alright, there we go. Everything is sold. So let's hit the collect button and see how much we got. So we're up to 11 mil, and if we do the uh, full price check here, Looks like 11.1 mil. So we actually lost quite a bit price checking that or uh, selling that, unfortunately. But um, yeah, that's about it, guys. So we got over a mil in profit from these Sinister Keys. Uh, probably get closer to 1.3 or 1.4 mil. Uh, if you, uh, well, I don't think we actually lost all that money price checking it, or I'm sorry, just dumping it instantly. I feel like we most likely just the prices weren't as high as the OS Buddy Guide was saying. Because uh, you can see here, let's see, we sold the Irrit Leaves for 1,000 each. Uh, Avantos for 2,000. Uh, Quorums for 2,300. Torsals for 4,300. And Renard for 6,900. So that's about it, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I would recommend picking up some Sinister Keys if you get the chance. I just leave an offering for a while, and if you pick up 100 or 200, you can make a couple hundred K, even up to a mil. So yeah, look good luck, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video.